quick video on how I load my boat up for open water paddling. So this is not for rivers, this is for going on open water situations with big bags. First thing is I'm paddling a 16 foot Who Prospector, which would pretty much take me anywhere and do anything I need to do. Quick look at the Who, it's a solo canoe. I've set this up in a solo format. So I've got a thwart, a yoke, and a sailing thwart for open water. And as you can probably see, I've got some gear loops down the inside. And really importantly on open water, some big boy airbags, because that's what I'm gonna to need to float me if I have any problems. Bow and stern, I've got some painters. I'll do another video one day about the length of painters, but right now this is how I load my boat. So that's the boat set up to put kit in. Now what kit have I got? I've got essentially two bags. I try and get everything into two bags with a couple of little side bags on the side just to put day kit in. I've got a small, completely dry bag that's on a very long lanyard because it's gonna be open water, so I need to have it strapped into the boat. And I'm gonna put that at the front. That is all my heavy, heavy kit. So that's a lot of food, uh, the stove, the fuel, and you can see when you put it in there, the boat moves around quite a lot. That's a small bag, so I can move it back and forward, and that heavy kit can help trim the boat on open water. Another bag, another completely dry bag, um, not as heavy as the small bag, but much bigger. It's full of my fluffy kit, things like clothes and sleeping bags and sleeping mats. That's the stuff that I'm gonna need only generally at camp. And again, that's on a nice big lanyard that's on a quick release knot, and it's into the middle of the boat. Tap that away. So that's the boat loaded with my kit, and I can move the bags on lanyards around the boat to trim it. And next, what I'm gonna do is cover where I put the little bits and pieces that we need during the day. I greatly prefer having all my kit in two big bags. If it's a big trip, then it's gonna be three big bags. But what I have found over the years, it's really useful to have what I refer to as a guides bag, which is a little bag with drinks, sun cream, snacks, hats, gloves, things that you can need quickly in and out of the day, and a map holder on the top of it. And that's kind of like my in and out bag during the day. And I put that on top of my boat and I clip it to the other bags so it's secure and I can read my maps and pull things out if I need them. Clearly I'm going to need to have other bits and pieces with me. So I've got my canoe poles which I mount those in really securely because I don't want those to come out and I mount them in with bungee as well. Then I've got my paddles I always go out on water with a big open, a big strong white water paddle. It doesn't matter where I'm going, I have a big strong white water paddle because I may need to scoop lots of water because of the situation I'm in. I take a, a lightweight um, deep water paddle with a thin blade on it to do lots of cruising. That's perfect for open water paddling. And I slide it in. My sail, if the wind picks up, I don't want to unpack anything, so I put my sail at the back of the boat under the bungee, keep it in position, and finally I've got a baler and a sponge which I flip at the back of the boat so I can turn back and reach it and it's out of my paddling area. So what I've got now is I've got a clean boat, I can get my poles, my paddles, my bungee, my sail within seconds and I can dip in and out of my bag to get snacks and sun cream and I'm ready to rock and roll. And that's what I use when I'm paddling on open water. And there's only a slight twist between that and white water and I'll do another video on that one day. So there we go, I'm ready to rock and roll. Open water paddling, sailing, expedition kit, and I don't have to faff around.